Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me, Dr. Lavanya, once again as we take a look at the second pillar in lifestyle medicine. Last time we looked at food. So tell me, what goes hand in hand with food for a healthier life? Exercise. That's right. Before you go out and sign up for that gym membership or buy a pair of sports shoes with matching sports attire, here is an important tip to keep in mind. Be realistic and practical. Choose a physical activity that you can do regularly and consistently that you can maintain on a daily basis for the long term. For example, brisk walking or a slow jog at the neighborhood, gardening, stretches and push-ups at home or at the office, life cycling or swimming is suitable for both children and adults. Also remember to practice breathing well so we can maximize the benefits. Truly, any movement done correctly is better than no movement at all. And isn't it fun if we get to exercise together with our family and friends? So do invite them and set a time so you can encourage and motivate each other. Also, is it better to exercise indoors like at a gym or the outdoors? Even a child can answer that. Outdoors, of course, where we can get plenty of sunshine and fresh air. Regular physical activity of about 20 to 30 minutes every day, coupled with the right diet, is the way to go to further lower the risk of developing chronic lifestyle-related illnesses. Nothing should stop you from making this your goal. In fact, the goal for all your family and loved ones. Certainly, before starting any exercise regime, it's advisable to seek the advice of your doctors. This is pertinent especially if you have any underlying illnesses. Working with a certified exercise specialist like a physical therapist or a certified personal trainer or coach is the safest and most reliable way to start any exercise regime, especially if we have some health complications. So, happy exercising everyone! <laughs>